A couple of weeks ago I was setting up my laptop, minding my own business on a Friday evening, checking my PMs, looking at YouTube, seeing if there's anything new on. You know the sort of thing that you do on a Friday evening. And in the meantime, my wife was sitting on the sofa watching this Irish chat show called The Late Late Show. And um, of course I could hear what people were talking about, but I didn't pay much attention because many of the guests on that show I'm not really that interested in. And then they have these musical interlude where up-and-coming bands go and play in the, for the studio audience and get interviewed afterwards. And again, I wasn't paying much attention. There was this little act, it's an Irish country and western act that had apparently become fairly successful in country and western circles. It's a brother and sister act and mother is in the band as well, playing the piano in the background. And again, I wasn't paying it any attention because I'm not interested in it. And then they were interviewed afterwards, and again, I wasn't paying any attention, but suddenly I pricked up my ears because they were talking about something that kind of grabbed my attention. Mother was harping on. She was going on about how she had been praying to God to help her make this band a success, and finally, after praying for years and years, God had seen fit to grant her her request and make this band famous and she was thanking God for this fame. And I thought that's peculiar now, that's very interesting. And I looked around a little bit and I found that this is not the only instance of God granting somebody their wish to become famous or successful in the entertainment industry. For example, Justin Bieber made a point of thanking God and Jesus for his success, Michael Bublé apparently spent his whole childhood with a Bible stuck under his pillow praying to God to make him famous. And of course, Opera Winfrey, for example, these are just four different people who have been thanking God for the success of their career. And I realized that if you have just found out that you are suffering from terminal cancer, and there's really no hope of a recovery for you, then, you see, the problem is God is too busy to grant these people their wishes for riches and fame to be bothered with your terminal disease. So I would say don't take it personal. God is a very busy deity and these people are more important than you.